now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, here we are, the 11 o'clock hour. It is still, let's see, 82 degrees. Boy, talk about warm. At the topping out in the uh, low 90s in many areas, we go to live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar, uh, not finding any showers or thunderstorms. We've got a couple of them up in northern New England. Uh, most of that activity uh, should stay away. Of course, it was hot today. Not a record breaker. The record was 95 degrees, but we did make it up to 92. But when you throw in that humidity, it felt even hotter. That's called the heat index. We have the wind chill in the winter, of course, and the heat index in the summer. And at one point, the heat index was 100 degrees around 2 o'clock this afternoon in New Bedford. 80 in Providence. The dew point is still high. Of course, we talk about this all the time in the summer season. The higher the dew point, the more moisture is in the air. West-northwest breeze at 9, relative humidity at 62%. So speaking of the dew point, it's high right now, but the trend over the next 24 hours, this is the dew point trace, is for it to drop during the overnight right on through tomorrow. So while it's muggy right now, by later tomorrow, lower humidity will be working in. Actually, later tonight into tomorrow. Doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be a cooler day. It just means that the moisture content will be lower. It'll dry out a little bit. Still very warm for tomorrow. Upper 70s to around 80 in most locations. 80 westerly, New Bedford at the 78. Uh, Taunton 77. Talk about hot night. Boston 85 degrees still. There's a cool front coming through. It's the leading edge of actually not so much cooler air, but rather drier air, lower humidity coming out of upstate New York. So this will work through overnight right on through tomorrow. So it's very warm, but not as muggy for tomorrow. Overnight tonight, uh, generally clear by 5 o'clock in the morning will drop off to 71. Sunshine tomorrow morning, warm and dry, 75 to 83. We'll head up into the upper 80s around 87, 88 degrees tomorrow afternoon under partly sunny skies. But take note, 3 o'clock and beyond, late afternoon and early evening, some scattered thunderstorms developing late in the day, uh, sometime after 3 or 4 o'clock. Northwest breeze tomorrow means that there's no sea breeze, so the coastline is very warm. and includes the beaches, 85, upper 80s inland, partly sunny, and watch for that scattered thunderstorm in the late afternoon. Some could be locally strong, too. It's one of those deals where not everybody will catch one. Uh, Bay forecast has a northwest breeze at 5 to 15. Now, visibility most of the day is 10 miles. Obviously, if you catch that quick thunderstorm late in the day, the visibility comes down briefly, so boaters be aware of that. Waves will be under a foot. Beach is very warm. No sea breeze, so 85. Water temperature at 70. Thunderstorm risk at the beaches is lower, whereas the further north you go, the further inland, you've got a better chance of a pop-up thunderstorm, some strong late afternoon and early evening under partly sunny skies. Same situation out across southeastern Mass. Very warm, less humid, but that chance of a quick passing thunderstorm. Seven-day future cast showing up. The cooler weather returning for Thursday. Very comfortable and refreshing at 79, and then warming back up for Friday, right through the weekend. Nothing oppressive, but mid-80s, along with slightly higher humidity. And the only uh, concern that we have here for tomorrow would be late in the day for a strong thunderstorm, but high temperatures well into the 80s. Most of the time, it's sunny, but watch out late afternoon and early evening. Another gorgeous weekend coming up, too, in the 85-degree range. I like it. Yeah. Thanks, Tony.